Hey guys and welcome, my name is Derek and we're gonna play our Runekeeper. So I, I must apologize for the last video. Oh, I'm gonna attack you right away. I think I got all the lagging stuff uh, fixed and hopefully you won't have that problem again. But I mean the problem with these kinds of games, oh my god, no, okay. Uh, I can't go back and like remake the video, right? We, we did the stuff, we did the quests and that's it, I can go back, so yeah. Hope I got all the problems uh, saved. I think the problem was that right before I recorded, I transferred a lot of files for for my work. I transferred basically millions of files and it clogged up my memory and um, it didn't clean it out fast enough or something and that caused those uh, lag spikes. But today it should be fine. A medium pile of copper scraps. Woohoo! Alright, so we're still in Forest Hill. Uh, unfortunately, the stupid bears do not drop thick and first. I really want to combine them with something. And so we're going to do this last, basically. So we're just going to do... Well, we have to kill bears, I guess. Let's kill some bears until we find the, the music sheet. Oh, I would say we're getting close to a hundred subscribers. We're, at, I think, 82 as I talk, which is amazing and uh, crazy. I, I didn't expect, honestly, that anybody would want to watch this, but thank you very much. So, I had to think of something for 100 subscribers. Maybe do some giveaways of turbine points or something. Oh, I'll think of something. But yeah, it's really cool. Thanks, thank you everybody who subscribed. Okay. Oh, deeds. I hate deeds. Um. Also, I'm gonna start a new series relatively soon. I, I don't know when exactly, but in the next week or two. Um, basically making a free-to-play tutorial guide because I think that oh we got the sheet perfect I think that most people who start playing Lord Rings Online nowadays are gonna start as free-to-play and you know the, the turbine store can be pretty confusing you know what should you buy what shouldn't you buy and what is good what do you need what ooh, we got a loot box what don't you need uh, so I figured it would be good to make like a few videos about you know what should you look at, what should you buy, uh, how get you here to free to play, maybe even without spending any money. It's possible, but you gotta be very lucky with the sales. But that's in the future. Our main concern is leveling up fast and getting to Moria and the game really takes off after Moria or in Moria uh, leveling wise and stuff so right now it's it's kind of slow it takes a lot of time to level all the quests a lot of riding um, after that I think it goes faster Even the instance level 40 plus. Unfortunately, I don't have so much time today to do an instance. Otherwise, I would have done that. Why can I not do this one? Come on, click. There we go. Almost. Alright, so we're gonna turn these quests in, and then hopefully, I think there's at least one quest where we have to kill, you know, 20 of those. What are they? Saber tooth tigers? And I think they dropped a thick first. Then I can combine it. So I hate if you have to kill 20 and then 15 again. Oh, ancient silver. Yeah, need that. Absolutely need that. I haven't noticed any legs yet, so hopefully take care of. 
All accepted. Ooh. Doesn't matter what race you are. Uh, I love this wizard head. It's so stupid. Maybe you have to dye it blue or something. Okay. So we have to collect meat and antlers, so that will definitely uh, synergize with this quest. But let's go back and talk to them as well, because I'm 100% sure there's a quest where you have to go in here and kill uh, 20 dudes. What is this back there? Three sheets in the wind. Oh, we have to go to Pycos. Pycos are annoying. Could do this. 47. Uh, healing. You can do under level healing just fine. It's more the damage. Your DPS will suffer a lot if you be under level. So I absolutely need to level some of this session so I can build up some more VIP. Uh, bonus. So the VIP bonus only builds up to you know the end of this bar. It doesn't build over anymore, as far as I know. So yeah, have an about an hour, hour and a half maybe. So this needs to be on. Moria is boring, guys. You have no idea. You play Moria wrong if you find it boring. Especially the Mori instances. If you do the first time, they're a lot of fun. If you've done them like 40 times like I did, they're probably less fun, but still pretty good. Much better than school and library, which I can't see anymore. But I still do. Guys, why can't I get any XP while doing runs? Uh, you're on the over level, you have your XP disabled on. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. Hello, Ida, Ida. Oh, we have to do, before we go back, there's one more quest we can do. Real quick. Well, relatively quick, as uh, so we can collect those fetishes. Forgot about that. Uh, should be over here. Tower of Orthanc. Eat. Saruman. It's a, a really a lot of cool fight as well there at the end. Never done it. Um, you actually fight Saruman. You don't kill him, but you kinda escape him. <laughs> you stop his plans on forging uh, a ring of power himself. That's kinda cool. I mean, obviously, you can't kill him because. You know, Years in the books and stuff. And since this follows the books and not the movies, he doesn't die at Isengard. In case you guys only watch the movies, um, Saruman actually escapes to the Shire where he's being killed. Um, I think Warm Taste still kills him, but pretty much by a bunch of hobbits. I don't know if we will ever see that. They say they have a lot of plans for after order, but I guess we'll see. Um, gotta work on our deeds a little bit. Um, don't know, Firestone, that should be enough. 
the Gaura then claws, such as reputation items. Hear that wind? I don't know if you can hear that good on YouTube, but it sounds really cool. It sounds like, you know, this really wind going through those, uh, I don't know what you would call those, cave systems back there. It's pretty cool. A fall shell was not included in the base game, it came in later. The last one? No, we need one more. Yeah, okay, I see you back there. So we have to kill two more guys. I feel like that there's a quest that we missed where we have to kill these guys to get a sword. I'm gonna be annoyed that I missed that. Oh, stunt us. Always forget my deeds. Ending, final word, self motivation, distracting flame. Always forget distracting flame, because I said you would never use this. It doesn't do any damage. I mean, look at it 64 to 91 damage. <laughs> That's nothing. I mean, you only use it to drop some aggro in, in, in group fights. So, yeah, I, I wish they would all rock this whole system. Uh, not one of the brightest ideas. Alright, and here's our last fetish. Should be a relatively good turn in. Oh, those uh, lost. Louis tins are the big reputation items, 700 rep. So definitely do not throw those away, and they always sell relatively well in the auction house. As uh, never throw away or sell reputation items to a merchant. Always sell in the auction house or use it on on tunes, because you get token points for repu reputation. So. Just selling to one points basically. It's more difficult with the recent changes that you have to have level. Let's see what level do you need for those? Level forty. But still, if you're a free-to-play player. You you will want to have all your reputations on Kindred and get the. Uh... Is it almost a hundred turban points? I think it's almost a hundred turban points you get. We're going from neutral to kindred. That's significant. Um, nothing good. Seven, six, eleven. I take you. Ooh, we have we probably have a bunch of task items. Yeah, look at that. Black furs and black skins. Black skins. Black fur. You have to go back here. A little annoying. Alright. Alright. Good XP. And you get a little bit of reputation. Especially in, uh, in the new Gonda area. Um, Tass is a good way to get your reputation up. We get our reputation. How much does it give us? Oh, yeah, we now at neutral. Apparently, that doesn't give you any turban points. So from now on, we should get turban points for increasing our reputation. Since you start as an outsider, see now we have to find a sword. Yeah, I knew that was a stupid quest. No, oh. and there's the collect twenty of those. Which you can combine with the first. I don't have any health potion linked. It's bad. We are a squishy and we die a lot. Once again, dying is okay. Okay. Ah, that's not what I wanted. 
Maybe we can delete this quest by now and then not don't act to tracker. Okay. Okay. We have that up there, we have the new sword. Alright. So now we basically have to kill uh Moose and Kalpa Kita. That should give us the fifteen first. Might give us a level up too. We, we're pretty close. As a moose. Oh, while we're here, might as well show you something else that's special about Farsha, which I was kind of sad they abandoned that system. Is the act of uh, uh, I don't know what I call it, battle zones. Um, right up here. And it will give us wisdom too if we get them all. So, like in even them or Numinous, there's those little zones where the forces of good and evil fight each other. And depending who holds it right now, the battle for Forge. Oh my god. <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. So, right now, this is held by Fitz Blue. Let's turn this off. Uh. The free people hold it, and there's gonna be a guy who give a quest. If it's red, we have to go in there and kill everybody up at the camp. And if we kill everybody, uh, it will switch to blue, and there will be a guy who give us quests. It's a fun little system. Um, I said I'm, I don't know, a little sad they abandoned it. I think that would be more fun than uh, roving threads. Or, or combination with them, maybe. But, you know, those quests are not that interesting. They're more for reputation than anything else. Like, you know, there's one quest to collect these ores. That's why there's uh, ore there. But it is a deed, and it should give us wisdom. If I remember right. Yeah. So we want to find all four battle zones. And we get one wisdom. In case you guys are interested, one is up here, one is like back here, and the last one. I forgot where the last one is. <laughs> I would have to look that up. I don't really don't remember. I think it's somewhere in here. But I don't remember, so don't quote me on that. Only got one meat. Zero antlers out of that? No, oh, man. Gonna have to kill a lot of... What are the moose? Yeah, the moose. Better give us at least a thick first. Ah. Stunned again. So deeds, they're not really dangerous. Should die. Maybe we can finally get an antler. We got an antler meat and a fur out of that one. It's a good one. Oh, look at that. Black skin, black skin, black fur, black fur, black fur. Wow. A rich ancient silver, really nice. Maybe get something good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, you get this gnawing cold debuff until you get close to a fire. But negative 135 frost mitigation, really. Who cares? <laughs> it's nothing. It's a cool idea, but it's nothing. Our yeah, runestone still doing some damage. <sighs> we had 20 minutes. Probably should put in a cut. How far away from level up? They give. Uh, only 384. Yeah, we, we're quite away from level up uh, just by killing stuff. So I'm gonna put in a cut. And I'm sorry, we're not going to make 44 this time, but next video we definitely make 44. 
and probably stay maybe one more level here. I don't know. I have to decide if I want to go down to Eregia. Actually, let's decide that now. What kind of deeds do we get here? Empathy. Yeah, I want to finish this. I don't care about compassion. Probably go down to Eregia after this. Thanks for watching. See you next episode.